Hey there, the message that I am wanting to share with you today is that you should work to change unjust laws. You should work to change unjust laws. So laws, you know, have changed over the course of history. Slavery, chattel slavery, used to be legal in the United States and eventually that was changed. And that's just one example of how laws have evolved over time. Um, and in this case, something that is pretty much you know, today, obviously unjust, slavery, was once accepted as just. So, and then the laws were changed. So currently, I think there's some laws that should be changed that are unjust. For example, imprisoning nonviolent drug offenders who, you know, haven't stolen from anybody, uh, aren't violent, and then we put them in prison because they choose to put a certain substance in their body. We persecute them for that. I find that to be very unjust and additionally a waste of money. You know, taxpayer dollars are spent housing, feeding, providing medical care to these people who, again, as long as they aren't being violent and aren't stealing property to go buy drugs, you know, and, you know, or hurting anybody else, you know, why shouldn't they be allowed to, you know, make a poor decision for their own self, at least for adults, you know, um, also I think the laws that allow, uh, you know, psychiatric wards and hospitals to effectively imprison individuals, you know, imprison adults who are deemed to be a danger to their own self or others is unjust. You know, if somebody is a danger to someone else, well, that's, I'm pretty sure, illegal, so they should be, you know, put in the criminal justice system. And, and if somebody is a danger to, you know, one's own self, well, for an adult, why shouldn't an adult be allowed to be a danger to one's own self, you know, to be a danger to their self, you know? <laughs> Uh, anyway, I think that's also unjust laws. I'm sure there's others. Some of this is sort of a subjective, you know, history will ultimately rule about what is just and what's unjust. But either way, if you know in your heart that something is wrong and unjust, I would encourage you to relentlessly pursue, you know, in this case with regards to the law, if you know in your heart that a law is unjust, I would encourage you to relentlessly pursue, you know, attempting to right that wrong to present to try and uh you know bring justice to where there is injustice so i give two examples of you know psychiatric holds and civil commitment and uh you know certain drug laws that imprison non-violent individuals who aren't hurting anybody else and i'm sure there's other examples um also something you no know, go learn about jury nullification so if you're ever on a jury and you know the court is potentially trying to, you know, imprison or pros prosecute someone who you feel like has broken a law, but the law is unjust, you can effectively nullify the law. That is my understanding of how our justice system works, that you as a juror have that option to potentially use jury nullification. You can look that up. Um, there's lots of information about that on the internet. So... <laughs> Anyway, again, oh, and then also let me just say, if you are trying to change a law, well, in the United States, we live in a, you know, representative democracy. So then in that case, you can either run for office yourself and try and change the laws, or else you can contact your legal representatives, your lawmaking representatives, um, and tell them, you know, you're a constituent of theirs. And if they want your vote again in the future, they should, you know, do this or that. Again, also, aside from you simply contacting your, uh, you know, Democratic representative. You can also encourage others to contact their Democratic representatives. And also, additionally, you know, some states have initiative processes where, you know, you can, if you get enough signatures, you can get something on the ballot. So, you know, you can do grass grassroot uh, activism that way as well. So, and there's probably, I'm sure there's other ways. You can simply also just spread the message, you know, put a bumper sticker on your car, <laughs> you know, or whatever else, if, you know, if you want to try and change an unjust law. So, uh, anyway, I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, watch my other videos, visit my websites, and have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be.